Good morning guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. I'm not sure if it's gonna be like a Monday, Tuesday vlog or just today, depends on how much footage I get. But we're about to leave to go take Ezzy to school. I'm tired to-do list of things that I gotta get done today. I doubt I'm gonna get them all done, but we'll see. First thing on my to-do list was trying to find a primary doctor who's taking new patients. So I didn't tell you guys this last vlog because it's kind of like an ongoing thing right now. I realized two Fridays ago that I had this giant lump behind my ear and I kept looking it up and it was like swollen lymph nodes. But the next day I woke up and my entire like right side of my neck was swollen and then I started getting more swollen lymph nodes um, and I got another giant one right here and then like a couple baby ones so obviously that freaked me out so I was like all right let me just go to urgent care and hopefully they just give me some antibiotics so she took a look at it she was like okay you're not you don't look sick even though they're pretty and like inflamed uh, so I'm gonna give you some antibiotics just take these and then if they don't go down within the next three days or if you start throwing up having a fever then go to the ER I was like okay so the next three days I didn't throw up and I have a fever nothing but they were not going away like and it was actually getting worse like my neck was just really swollen it was during Memorial Day weekend so then I decided to go to the ER Tuesday night just to have it checked out and to just you know because I don't have a primary doctor right now so I was like all right well just for my peace of mind let me just go I waited in the waiting room for six hours our hospital is literally the worst hospital ever and then when they finally took me in they drew a bunch of blood to like test it out for like all kinds of infections they checked me out for strep throat mono ear infection any kind of infection that they thought that it could be they were in my blood and they tested it everything came back negative there was no trace of an infection in my body but my lymph nodes were still swollen that kind of had the doctor like a little bit like hmm like what could it be and that was starting to make me nervous then they tell me that the, the doctor at urgent care gave me the wrong antibiotic so that's why it was not going down so he's like all right we're gonna change your antibiotic most likely you got a bug bite on your head and it's causing your your lymph nodes to swell up and i'm like what kind of bug just bit me in my head like that? And it had to be something outside. But that's what he's thinking. It was a bug bite. But I don't trust them. I don't believe them. So I'm trying to find a primary doctor so that way I can get the proper test done. He did say it would take up to two weeks for them to completely slow down. Yeah, anyway, sorry, super long intro, but I wanted to catch you guys up on that because that was just something that was like, you know, just low key freaking me out. Anyways, I want to order a cake for my mom. Or not order, but like pick up a cake for my mom at Acme because uh, we're going to celebrate her at my grandma's house tonight. I'll tell you guys a little bit about that later. I'm going to go to home. Depot right after I drop Seek off, got three new clients with four new projects. That's my to do list, and then go to my grandma's. I gotta get all this done before I go to my grandma's. But let's go take this kid to school and continue this to do list. All right, you made it to Home Depot. I picked somebody up, so I got lucky again. I was looking for a cute pink paint, I found this on clearance nine dollars. You guys, I just saved my client 50 bucks. I'm getting two of these, some tape, which is like eight dollars, like since when. And then some more cloth because I can never have enough. But I need to find wood and hopefully some drop cloths. Are we gonna be good? You're not gonna run away, right? This is why you have to be in a stroller because she likes to run away. We're at Pascal's now because my grandma had to buy something. We got almost everything I had on my list for Home Depot except for the wood. There was no way I was gonna be able to fit it with my grandma in the car. Alright, we're back home. Sorry, my hair looks a hot mess i think melina's getting tired so i might have to put her down for her nap already and it's only 10 54 and that's because zeke woke her up at six in the morning i'm just gonna continue doing this to-do list i might even just curl my hair because i did wash it last night that way i can at least look somewhat put together you know all right so i'm trying to think of which meal prep meal i want to eat fried rice yesterday with some beef or i have this chicken bowl i really want the chicken bowl because i've been having it for the last couple of days and i really like it but I feel like I should eat this because doesn't wouldn't this go bad faster? I'm actually gonna eat chicken later because my mom's getting Chick-fil-A, so I guess I'll eat the beef. That's been going really good for us, by the way. I really like when we cook once a week. I feel like this is not gonna fill me up, though. These were the kids' breakfasts that they didn't eat. Whole banana, blueberries, and then all of their oatmeal. This is why it's a hit or miss. Sometimes I just wanna give them a cupcake or a muffin or something simple like that or a bagel for breakfast because whenever I make them something good like this, they don't eat it. I just took a nap. I watched a YouTube video and then all of a sudden I just found myself slipping. I think it was like an hourish nap. Those always make me feel so crappy afterwards. I don't know why I do that to myself. But Melina's awake and I messed up my hair with that nap. I'm gonna make them some taquitos on the go again. I fixed my hair a little bit with a hair straightener, which I haven't used in a long time. I don't even think I've straightened my hair in years. Anyway, sorry if it's really loud, but I did get a package while I was asleep. And it is what I thought it was. So I ordered a second one because I need to do the part that's like facing the neighbor's house. 
and then a little bit of the front where we have like our front gate or another 50 foot one it's like 51 dollars around there i'll do that tomorrow though i'm gonna feel like being outside it looks like it's hot i'm gonna give melina these taquitos we have 20 minutes until we gotta leave all right i just picked up zeke and dropped him off at my grandma's house i'm gonna go to acme to go get my mom that cake i couldn't record anything in there because my hands are full but I just got the variety cake again and I had the Ray congratulations on it in purple. That's her favorite color. I'm cracking up because it's so ghetto, but I love it. I grabbed some Sprite and then I grabbed her these flowers. So cute. All right, going back. Back at Graham's. Oh, you cute or whatever. Hi. <laughs> Put this outfit on her and she yeah. loves it. And they got their tablets because I don't feel like dealing with it today. Oh, snap. It just got real. Everything is out. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's been a few days. Today is now Thursday. So last time I vlogged was on Monday. Oh, yummy. On Tuesday, we went to turn seven, so I wanted to get that video out for you guys. So I just recorded that as like a whole separate video. And then yesterday was a blur. So then here we are today, Thursday, and I feel like I didn't really accomplish anything this week. I don't know, at least that's what it feels like. So today is my get life back together day. Yeah. All right, so I just dropped Zeke off at school and there's just a few things that I want to do today. Like I want to clean the bathroom because the bathroom is a hot mess. I want to put up the privacy screen on like the rest of the fence. That's something that I have to do outside and we're dealing with the power air quality right now from the, the fires in Canada. I'm in South Jersey, so I think it hit us today more than it did yesterday. So yeah, so I don't really wanna be outside for that long, but I do wanna put that up because I wanna have it done for this weekend. So I can hopefully, I can bring out that water slide for the kids and hopefully the air is a lot better in a few days. I wanna go into the weekend with the house. Looking a hot mess, smelling a hot mess. Mmm, you like it? So me and Melina are gonna eat our cereal and then we're gonna start cleaning. So I'm really hoping that my neighbor does not come out while I'm doing this. It's gonna be so awkward. It's not that long, it's about the same same length i want to say as when i did this side not sure but let's hurry up and get it done here's what it looks like now much better come on let's go we're going inside so all that energy that I thought I was gonna have to clean the bathroom, it's gone. Since I'm feeling lazy right now and I don't feel like cleaning, I think I'm just gonna eat first and then maybe later on I'll get like a, a boost of energy or something. So I took like a 15 minute power nap. I've been taking antibiotics for the lymph nodes that I told you about and it has completely messed with my cycle, my monthly cycle. I think it's just hitting me in the form of like exhaustion. So I want to make myself some coffee real quick and wake up Melina and then make her some chicken nuggets or something and then go and drop her off with my sister for a little bit because I have a quick consultation that I have to go to. This actually got done in my consultation. So I have all the measurements for her closet. So it's a pantry that she wants to add shelves to to like organize her stuff, hide her appliances and things. I have like three weeks until we go on this cruise. Get done at least two out of the four of my clients before I go on the cruise. Yeah, so now I'm gonna get my sister some McDonald's cause she wanted McDonald's and then go pick up Ezzy. And I think I'm gonna go back to my mom's house. Nene, I'm gonna steal some of your fries. And you're not gonna know about it until you watch this video. I haven't had McDonald's fries in forever. And you got me this, thank you. We're in my mom's living room now. So, so she has these two walls and she was thinking about putting some shelves there. So I had sent her these, also I'll put a picture right here. We have two boxes, I'm just gonna assemble it. Hopefully I can put it up. I kind of broke her screen door yesterday. It was already like a little broken, but I opened it to bring in a box yesterday and the door just swung open and fell out. So this is me putting her shelf up because I'm super sorry that I broke her screen door. to go. I just looked for a bunch of random stuff that she had all over the house. So this is as good as it's gonna get. She's here. The kids didn't make too oh, much of a mess. You put them up? 
Yeah. And it's really nice. My yellow chair works out good. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back home. And I completely forgot that I had put bleach in the bathroom, like in the bathtub. So I had to like wash it off, reapply it, scrub it, and then I have it in there soaking again. But the kids are literally just chilling. They behaved so good at my mom's house while I was doing that. And they're just here on the tablet. Tommy just got home though, 6.16, so you already know. They're going to bed in 15 minutes. I'm gonna change their clothes. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry if it felt like it was all over the place. As always, I appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.